ArcGIS is a great developer platform because the entire system is exposed to developers through an API called ArcObjects. Now with this API you can either customize our applications or create your own using our components. In short, ArcObjects works like this. To start with, the entire API is divided into object classes. Each object class implements one or more interfaces. And each one of these interfaces have properties and methods. ESRI codes behavior into these properties and methods. Now, what's even better about ArcObjects as an API is that it's extensible, which means that the framework is open for you to include your behavior into the system the same way that we do. Now take for example the Feature Renderer class. This class governs how geometry is graphically drawn on the map. This class implements an interface called iFeatureRenderer, which contains properties and methods. Now inside those are ESRI's code which perform our design behavior. In this case, properties are set up and methods are called in order to draw, say, red point markers at specific locations. Now let's say you want to create your own renderer that ArcGIS doesn't have. Let's call this a point dispersal renderer. Well, when you create your own class using the same iFeature renderer interface, then you can include your own implementation code so that the layer draws according to your own rules. Now, since your class uses the same interfaces that ours do, the entire ArcGIS system treats your class like one of ours. For many years now, .NET developers have taken advantage of this extensibility, and now at version 9.3.1, Java developers can also. So to show you how this is done, I met with Monica Joseph, who's a product engineer with our Java team, and she showed me six basic steps for how Java developers can build custom components by extending Arc objects. So where do we start, Monica? Let, let's start with Arc map. Um, I have a point layer here, and the problem that I have is some of the points here are overlapping and they are too clustered. And what I want to try and do is to disperse the point so I could see each and every point. Uh, I'm going to look for, I know where to look for renderers, and this is where I could change my symbology of the layer, and I could uh, change it to be based on unique values, or I could create charts out of it, but I don't find something that could help me disperse the points, so I'm going to create my own custom renderer. So how do I create that? And as I told you already, you have to create a Java class. And you could notice the Java class implements the renderer interfaces, the iFeature renderer, iLegend info, and a couple more classes, a couple more interfaces, I'm sorry. So what happens is after implementing these interfaces, I have added my own method implementation. So what this method implementation does is it gathers the points and draws them at a different location. And uh, this is exactly where the algorithm is. So now that my ex extension is ready, the next thing that I have to do is I have to deploy it. To deploy it, what I have to do is I have to create a jar file. So I'm going to create a jar file. And uh, using Eclipse Wizard, and once I've created the jar file, what happens is I have to copy it and put it into my jar file location. So I'm going to drop it into my drop-in location. Okay, now I'm going to close my arc map. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to relaunch my arc map. When arc map relaunches, it probes the a particular drop-in folder and it would recognize the extension automatically. So let me uh, launch ArcMap. Okay, let's go and apply the new custom renderer that we created. I'm going to pick a green circle and apply. Now you could see that the points are not cluttered anymore. And uh, let's throw up the uh, other layer too. So you could see how the points are cluttered here, but they are rendered in a dispersed way. Right, so we're not actually moving the points. We're just shifting them so that they look better on the map. 
Yeah, you're right. Jeff. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, is the source code for this available somewhere so I can play with it as well? Yeah, it is available on the Resource Center and you can download it. More detailed information on extending ARC objects can be found here on the Java Resource Center. In particular, you'll find the source code for the custom renderer sample that Monica described.